Nope. Nope. I'm not gonna... Got you, you little shit. Charge! <sighs> no! Okay, hit him! Hit him! There we go. Nope! It's not fair! He can teleport and I can't! No! We're almost there! Shit, I hate these things! Oh, you dirty little bastard. Got him. Whoop. No. Oh, you building more of these fucking phantoms? Oh, you teleport more of these fucks! Go away! I can get another one somewhere, I think. No. No, you're not going to get me. Okay. No! No! Stop doing that! <laughs> Ooh. Shit, shit, what the fuck? Oh, piss off! Ugh. No! You're gonna die, I'm gonna fucking kill you! No! 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 Charge! 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 We got this, we almost got this. I nearly go when I almost died when I died there from fucking Kessler's Phantom. I hate those phantoms. I need to get far away from him when he does that. No, don't do those. Oh, 
shit. I need to get rid of those fucking drones. Oh! More of those drones. No, you're not getting me. Bastard. Nope. Come on, we don't look hard. Yes. <laughs> oh, get it. <laughs> Then die. There's not much of rage in there or emotion. Just die. I looked down at Kessler, reveling in my victory, and then I heard him whisper, "Trish, I love you. Please forgive me." Then he was on me, fingers digging into my face. As Kessler's secrets played out in my head, I finally began to understand. I saw his nemesis. A beast intent on extinguishing all life. In those early days, Kessler could have used his powers to stop it. But instead, he fled with his family, leaving others to fend for themselves. Hunted for years, Kessler and his family watched as the rest of the world went to hell. And then it was too late. Too late to fight. Too late to save anyone. In that moment of failure and grief, he used his newest and most dangerous power went on a one-way trip back in time, attempting to rewrite history. Kessler seized control of the First Sons and accelerated the Ray Sphere's development. Decades spent plotting the blast, organizing the quarantine, finding me. Yet the thing that drove him forward, Kessler's sole link to the past, was a picture from his wedding day, when he married Trish, with Zeke as his best man. My brain lurched, unable to accept that Kessler and I were the same person. That he'd come back in time to mold me into the savior he failed to be. Going so far as to kill the woman he loved, I loved, so that I wouldn't be tied down by emotions. No, Kessler wanted me strong, ruthless, so that when I faced the beast, I'd be capable of making impossible decisions. All for the common good. And then Kessler fell back, dead. His final message, my final message, burned into my brain. I take one last look down at myself, my future self, and turn away. The rage curdling inside. I hate everything about Kessler. But when the time comes, I will be ready. Whew. That fucking Kessler fight, that was more annoying than what I remembered. Well, there's a little piece coming after this. Uh, the game seems to be a bit more buggy than what I remembered, strangely enough, so I don't know why it's like that. I mean, I didn't have much, I didn't really have that much problems with it when I first played it. You know, fucking cool getting stuck on walls and so on. But yeah, I mean, was it really that hard to realize that Kessler was Cole's future self? I mean, when I first played it, I thought, hey, 
when we first met Kesler, I kind of thought, when I first met Kesler, I thought, hey, does he kind of look like Cole, but older? And I, uh, I didn't think, he thought his future self could be, he could just look like him, you know? But I'll keep that, keep that in mind, I'm not going to say, that's his future self. And then when all the hints start coming, like, you know, he starts knowing his um, family and all that. Well, in that final battle, he's supposed to say more, um, he's supposed to um, say more, uh, uh, a dialogue about um, Cole's past. For some reason, in that boss battle, he didn't do it, which is odd. For some reason, I didn't see Kessler's name in the voice acting. Uh, odd. But yeah, there was just a lot of things like Cole getting stuck in the environment and all that. It was just weird, and he gets really fucking happy of grabbing this and grabbing that, and then, well, I want him to grab something, he doesn't grab it. Fuck's sake, man. Pain in the ass that was. But yeah, I, I don't really see a reason of completing the um, the side the the side missions. I mean, hey, <laughs> there's not really no need. Cause just just finish the story off there. That's the story we want to know. I mean, the side missions are not going to um, proceed the story in any meaningful way or anything like that. I don't think there was any sort of meaningful uh, side missions, any kind of side missions that are meaningful anyway. So uh, <laughs> whatever. But yeah, uh, but Infamous um, Two is a lot more titan than this. I mean, it's a lot better than this. It's just more. It's just less buggy and looks more. It looks much nicer, and the powers, the powers are. You can have different electrical powers, but they're not like they don't overshadow one each other. This is, you know, one is more powerful but slower, one's quicker but weaker, and all that that sort of thing. You see what I mean when I get to Infamous uh, Two. Now I remember when, when I first completed this, I was like, oh, the spec. Uh, I just throw speculation everywhere, like, you know, who is the beast? I mean. I remember when I I had like other ideas like is if um time travel exists wouldn't the beast be um uh maybe possibly evil call you know <laughs> I thought it could be a possible evil call that evil call is the beast uh some people thought it was John White who's the beast because hey I mean this is like it's inspired by comic book heroes I mean. It, it was possible that Cole White, Cole White, I mean John White, could be um, uh, could be uh, the Beast, and it was just throwing speculations here or there, or it could be someone else. And then after this, um, I believe this is like a little, the comic book of Infamous, which is between Infamous One and Infamous Two. Yeah, I think it showed what happened to, is it Sashra, Sashra or something like that, what happened to her, and. Um, Oh, I forgot the old man's name. I mean, the one with telekinesis powers and all that. He also survived, and you see what happened to him as well. And I believe Moya makes an appearance in the comic book. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this let's play, and I'll see you for the next one. Toodaloo. I thought this would be the end. That once Kessler and the race fear were gone, my life would go back to normal. But now I understand that this is my life. That there's no going back that the gift of these powers will be my burden until the day I die. The people around here, they love me. How long will that last? What's going to happen the first time they expect me to be there for them and I'm not? I don't even know who to trust. Moya is still running around, planning God knows what. And Zeke, I don't know what to think. I've never been more alone.